In this video, I want to show you the difference between auto duck and the envelope tool when trying to duck music out so that you can have voice over the music. So let's get started. Hello friends, Mike Adams here with Audacity Training. I've got a screen open here with a music track on top and a little voice track that I recorded a few minutes ago so that I can show you the difference between auto ducking and the envelope tool. And then you can decide which one you want to use if you're not already using one. So what we've got here is a music track on top, just some YouTube music that I grabbed so that I don't get a copyright strike against me. Let's um, play through this a little bit and you can hear that the, the music and the voice are really competing with one another which isn't really what we want. So let's play through this. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my show, my podcast, my video thing. Whatever this is, we need to duck the music down so that you can hear my voice. So that's all. So that's not really something we want to listen to, is it? We don't want to try and weed through that loud music in order to hear what this person is saying. So there are a couple of different tools within Audacity that are built into Audacity that we can use to bring that music level down so that we can hear the speaker, we can hear the voice over the music. And then once the speaker's done talking, we can auto-ramp the music back up to its pre-existing level. Let me show you the first one. I'm going to, first of all, select a little chunk of audio here uh, right above where I'm speaking. And um, this will become the area that we're going to actually duck our audio down, our music track. We're going to duck that down so that we can hear the audio better and that they're not competing with one another. The first tool that I want to use or that I want to show you and use is the auto duck tool. So if we come up to the effect drop down window with that, um, with that selection made there, and we come to volume and compression, we can go to auto duck. Now that's not a reference to waterfowl. That's we're going to duck the audio down here. And when we select audio duck, you can see that it, uh, it, it presents this window to us. And what this window is telling us is that these dotted lines here are our selection point, the selection point that I've made when I selected that top audio. And this point to the far left and this point to the far right are where my auto duck starts and where my auto duck ends. And where my auto duck starts is called the outer fade in this, in this uh, window. And you can see from this window that my outer fade down length is almost a second. My outer fade up length is a second. We can just leave those where they are for now for the purpose of illustration. When we duck this audio down, we're ducking it down by 20 dB. And our threshold is at a minus 30 dB. The threshold means that our auto ducking will begin once our threshold is at least a negative 30 dB. And of course it is here, so we're going to see it duck right away. But let me hit apply, and we can see what this does to that top, uh, to that top waveform. So I ducked it down really good. We should be able to hear my voice now when I'm speaking. So let's come back over here and let's place the cursor somewhere here. And I'm pressing the space bar to play through it. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my show, my podcast, my video thing. Whatever this is, we need to duck the music down so that you can hear my voice. So that's all. So that sounds pretty decent. Nothing wrong with that. The thing that I don't like about the auto duck tool is you can never go back and readjust it. And that's not the case with the envelope tool. So let me show you that one next. This is a very convenient way to duck down your audio. But if I save this and I close out Audacity, it's a done deal. I can't manipulate it anymore. But that's not the case with the envelope tool. So I'm going to press Command Z on my Mac. If you're in Windows, Control Z to undo what I just did. And I'm just going to click somewhere in here to eliminate that highlighted area. And this time, instead of going to the effects window, I'm going to come up here to my tools toolbar, and I'm going to hover my mouse right here over the envelope tool. This changes my cursor from this hourglass thing to a different look. 
And what it does is it creates an up and down arrow. You can see these two arrows kind of facing each other right there. That's telling me that I'm now in the envelope tool. And you'll also see that it puts some blue lines around my WAV file. And what's not real obvious is that blue line is both above and below my track. So what I want to do is I want to bring my envelope tool over here to roughly the same spot where I did the auto duck. And this time I'm going to click the mouse button one time. And that puts a control point right there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a control point right there. And then I'm going to come over to the other end of my waveform where I kind of where I did the, the auto duck. I'm going to put another audio point. And you can see the blue lines changing just a little bit. Now I'm going to put two more points. I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put another one right here. And the reason for that will be obvious in just a moment. Now what I can do with my waveform is I can come in here between these two points. I can grab this one and I can begin to reduce the level of that audio in the music track down to wherever I want it. And I can do the same thing right here with this inside control point. So I can bring these down together and I can get the audio pretty much to where I want it. It's a little arbitrary at this point. And then if I don't like the fade out or fade in, if I've not been fast enough, I can bring that back over and I can make it a little bit better. I can also bring this over more so that I can have a more gradual fade in if I want. And now let's uh, bring our playhead back over here. I'm going to click once and let's listen through this. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my show, my podcast, my video thing, whatever this is. We need to duck the music down so that you can hear my voice. So that's all. That's pretty good. I'd probably take this down just a little bit more because I think the music's still kind of loud. So we can bring this down. It's always a challenge to get that blue line straight, but that's good enough. Let's play through it again right here. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my show, my podcast, my video thing, whatever this is. We need to duck the music down so that you can hear my voice. So that's all. So that sounds pretty good. This, again, it's just like auto duck, but you have a little more flexibility. You can, you can change things on it a little more than you can the auto duck. The auto duck is what you see is what you get, and it doesn't give you a lot of options to uh, make any changes on it later. Whereas with the envelope tool, I can always come back and change this a little bit later. Now, let me go back to the selection tool, and you'll see that my waveform stays the same. It removed the blue lines, but I'm still ducking down. And then if I come back to my envelope tool, I can manipulate it a little bit more, or I can make complete changes on it. I can do whatever I want to do, because instead of the auto duck tool, which is a one time shot, I have the flexibility of being able to make adjustments later. Now, let me show you one more thing with the envelope tool that you may or may not be aware of. I'm going to bring this level back up here, just kind of somewhere in here. And I want to show you something. When I'm raising the audio, I cannot clip it. It stops at the top of the track. It always stops at the top of the track. That's a safety feature that I think Audacity put in here for us. I can't go higher than that. but You'll notice that here, I've got another dot. Everywhere I put a control point, it also put a control point down here. If I click that point and continue to raise, I can go really high and I can start clipping. So we want to make sure that we don't do that. That's why I like to grab the outer points instead of the inner points. And uh, I wanted to show you that, that little trick as well, because sometimes we might want to grab those inner points and be careful when you do that, because you can cause clipping if you take that too high. So there's just a quick look at the difference between the auto duck tool and the envelope tool. If you ever open up your project and you see these blue lines, it's because you've got the envelope tool selected in the tools toolbar. But hey, I want to show you one more thing before I let you go. I'm going to go back to the selection tool here. And let's go back up to selecting through part of this. And just real quick, I want to go ahead and reapply the auto duck tool. That'll be okay right there. Let me move that over. And we're auto ducking once again. What I want to show you right now is 
if I accidentally move one of these tracks, it kind of messes up everything. And it's very easy to move those and kind of mess things up. So what I want to show you right now, in case you don't already know, is I want to come up to the Tracks drop-down menu, and I want to select Keep Tracks Synchronized, which is also called Sync Lock Tracks. So let's click once on there, and you'll notice that when I did that, a couple of different things happened. First of all, I have these little clocks down in the uh, corner of the track control panel, which tells me these two tracks are synced together. And also, you'll see that around the selection, let me make a little wider selection here. You'll see that when I make a wider selection, I have those little clocks in the other track where I've uh, synced to. So now, if I take one of these tracks and move it, which you just put your hand right up here, if you want to move it, put your cursor here until it turns into a hand. Now, if I move that top track, it's going to move the bottom track with it. Likewise, if I move the bottom track, it's going to move that one as well. So it's a good idea when you're doing this kind of manipulation, whether it's auto duck or envelope tool, that you sync the tracks together when you're done so that you always have those there. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video, the difference between auto duck and the envelope tool so that you have those in your uh, tool bag, your Audacity tool pouch, so that you can use those and that you can edit more effectively. So until next time, y'all take care.